Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic. Today I want to show you how to share documents on screen in a uh, online Zoom meeting. So let's say you're the host of a meeting. Let's start a new meeting here. Click on that. Boom, we're here. The meeting's kicked off. Okay, so now we're, we're live. The meeting's online. If anyone else was going to join, now would be their chance to do so. Um, now, if I want to share my screen, say, I, you know, I really don't want to have a direct meeting. What I want to meet with my coworkers about is more document-based, or I want to share a spreadsheet or a report or something, or whatever it is. Uh, you can go over here to share screen in the bottom of the middle here. Click on that, and you'll see uh, this window open up here. There's a few different options here. You know, you can either do a basic share, which basically is going to allow you to connect to a, a mobile device. You can share a particular window. In this case, uh, my finder is open, and I can share that. Uh, a whiteboard, or you can share a... a the whole desktop. So in this case, if you're looking like you've got a Word document open or a, a presentation or whatever, just click on desktop. You'll see you get a green line around the outside, your video window shrinks, and now you can see what's on your desktop as well as the share bar up top here. Go over to, let's say, Google Chrome. I've got a, a, a Google Drive or Google Doc open here. You can see that's open. Anyone else who's participating in the meeting will see essentially the same thing along with my mouse moving and any changes I make or, or highlights you know, annotations, I can do all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and all my participants will be able to see what I'm doing. So that's the easy way to do that. There is a more difficult way that I found to do this. Uh, and Zoom, if you go back to the share option, you may have noticed there's three options here. You can do an advanced where you're sharing a portion of the screen content from a camera or just sound uh, from the computer for like an audio file or whatever. Or you can go over to files and you can actually do it so that Google Drive or Box or Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox or anything will will direct, you can directly share files from there. Um, I haven't seen a reason to do this over the other version. Uh, the screen on a second machine doesn't look any different. Um, there's nothing I can tell that really makes it very different. The, the only reason I can see to do this is if it's sort of an enterprise level thing where you want to grant access to certain files. So for example, I've linked my Google Drive here. If I double click on this, it'll open up a new drive window um, in kind of Zoom's version of Google Drive. That's why it looks sort of weird and different. So let's say, for example, I want to go over here and, and open the same document I just had open. It was a project that I'm working on. So I'll scroll down here, click on this, and then it's going to ask me when I single click on it to uh, you know assign share links. So if you are working inside an enterprise, let's say, um, you know, CBS. So if you were going to say visible throughout organization, you would want to put your your enterprise domain higher, so either cbs.com or whatever it is. Um, otherwise, if you're, you know, using this as kind of an ad hoc thing with a team, it's not directly tied to the enterprise, or you're a small business who doesn't necessarily have uh, a, a whole domain uh, assigned to, to Zoom, you can just click on visible for all and then it'll work. Otherwise, it may not share the screen correctly. So if you're going to go this route, make sure you just click visible for all unless you're chatting or having a meeting just with people on your enterprise Zoom uh, and sharing a file from your enterprise Zoom to people who are on that domain. Click share screen and it'll open up a fresh copy of the document in Zoom in the browser. So basically, right now, uh, this, is, this is a shared screen and you can see So basically, I have this now shared here. Um, there's really, like I said in the document, in the, in the article associated with this video, there's no really reason to do one or the other. The easiest way to do this is just to have the document open and then tab over to that once you share the whole desktop. So that's it for today. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. And be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks videos just like this one.